Let's now talk about tuberculosis and the fact that every year on March 24th, the day is set aside uh, to raise some more awareness about tuberculosis around the world. In Ghana here, the Ghana Health Service has put out some statistics saying that 286 people out of 100,000 people may be infected um, from tuberculosis. What have we been able to do so far in order to push that agenda of ensuring that as many people stay healthy and stay protected? And in the wake of coronavirus as well, hearing that most of the people that are losing their lives um, all had some health condition, underlying health condition as well. If you have TB um, and you get infected with coronavirus as well, are you at risk and how bad could it be? Joining us in the studio is Dr. Nee Norte Hansen Norte. He's the country director for the Orom Institute and he's joining us this morning. Thank you so much. I like your name, by the way. Thank you very Dr. much. Dr. Nee Norte, Norte Hansen Norte. Yes. Tell us, what's the theme for tuberculosis day um, right. this year? So this year, our theme for tuberculosis is boldly written on my shirt. It's okay. time to end TB. And we're still, we are saying that it is still time because we believe that there's a lot we have, done, we have to do that we have not done. What are we not doing? What have we not done? There are a lot of efforts that have already been running over a long period since the National TB Control Program was put in existence in mm -hmm. 1994. Over the years, we have seen TB as a regular problem, and so we have not put in place the needed action. Mm -hmm. That, we, uh, that is needed as part of the response. So this year, as part of our story, to say that it's time, we are saying it is still time, continuing from last year, mm -hmm. we're saying it is still time for everybody to speak up about TB. Okay. It is still time for everybody to end the stigma related to TB. It is still time for every one of us to put in effort to talk about TB with everybody. Mm -hmm. It is still time for everybody to walk into a health facility and find out about their lung status or okay. their TB status. Okay. So we are hammering the fact that it is still time to do something about ending TB in Ghana. Educate us a bit on the disease. Um, you know, what exactly is it? What leads to someone okay. getting tuberculosis? So tuberculosis is what we would call a debilitating lung disease okay. and this is a disease that um, primarily is transmitted through air droplets so if somebody uh, has the disease they would sneeze or they would cough and the moisture in their air is moved out of their uh, moisture in their lung sorry is yeah, moved out of down. their lung and is suspended in the air and anybody around them who then breathes in the air breathes in the moisture droplets associated with with the disease, the bacteria. Is this and not so just like coronavirus? It is just like coronavirus. And okay. I must confess that this year we have a big challenge or a big competitor in the form of coronavirus. However, the symptoms related to these two diseases are slightly different, okay. even though both of them are, res are related to the respiratory, respiratory system. system. Okay. Coronavirus is an acute onset disease, whilst TB is what we call a chronic and long uh, running disease. Break so, it down for us. All right. So you would realize that for somebody who gets coronavirus, they would have been well, then suddenly they begin to develop symptoms related to the disease. Okay. And these are respiratory symptoms. However, for somebody with TB, because it's a long standing disease, or it takes a long time, they develop their symptoms gradually. Okay. So what would you see? you see that in coronavirus, there's a persistent cough. Mm -hmm. So it's rapid onset, persistent cough. But in TB, you would realize that it's a prolonged cough, usually lasting for about two weeks or more. In coronavirus, you'd see a high fever, rapid onset. But in TB, you'd see a low-grade fever that would have taken some time to develop. Okay. In TB, you'd see somebody who, who is losing weight. It would have taken some time. Coronavirus, weight loss may be rapid onset, and they'll be very ill. In TB, you see somebody losing weight over a long period with chest, other chest symptoms, maybe chest pain uh, and, and cough with uh, sputum production and blood in it. In coronavirus, you may not see sputum production at all. Okay. You may not have, you may not have the chest pain, but rather they will have a difficulty in breathing okay. associated with sore throat. So these are the slight differences. However, this year we are promoting that Anybody who walks to a health facility 
with respiratory symptoms. Even though we will primarily want to look out for coronavirus, mm -hmm. let's also look out for tuberculosis because the person could actually be having tuberculosis. So you could be showing some symptoms, uh, but it could actually be tuberculosis. Exactly. You could actually be exhibiting symptoms related Are to... Are people losing their lives as much? Because I'm sure people would also say that. But corona is killing people. We're seeing the numbers yeah. all over. The world is reporting on it. Are people losing their lives as much? And if that's yes. the case, why are we not creating that much awareness? Since the onset of the coronavirus, there's been some infographic moving around yeah. that talks about the fact that a disease like TB has been killing people for years. Mm. We're not talking about it. Yes, of course, coronavirus, because it's rapid onset, uh, recently come up and it's causing so much havoc. We are talking about it. But the reality is TB has been killing people long before. Averagely, every year, about... Almost 2 million people die of tuberculosis. Globally. Globally. In Ghana, we are, our statistics tells us that we estimate that we have about 121 people, uh, sorry, about 42 deaths every day. What? 42 deaths based on our from statistics tuberculosis. from tuberculosis. Wait, globally or in Ghana? In Ghana alone. We estimate that about 42 people die of tuberculosis every single day. Wow. And breaking it down, that comes to about an average of two people every hour. I mean, it's one point something, but there's no one point something human being. So that we estimate about two human beings dying every hour. That runs, rounds up to about 42 people dying every day of tuberculosis in Ghana alone. Aside from creating awareness about this, what are some of the other challenges? Because I did read about it and it said that uh, drug resist resistance is yes. one major factor. Aside that, is our system also built in such a way that it can easily detect and treat um, you know, yes. tuberculosis as well? Yes, tuberculosis is very well integrated into the health system that we run in Ghana, from the public sector right through to the private sector. Unfortunately, the concentration has been more on the public sector than the private sector. Yeah. But in recent times, the private sector has also been responding to the call to find TV cases. So we have a lot of private sector, almost 100 private sector facilities that are involved, both uh, clinics, laboratories, and pharmacies that are responding to the national TB mm. problem. What, what are some of the challenges that we have? People go to the health facility, and when anybody Begins, when the health uh, provider begins to ask them about TB symptoms, they say, as for me, I'm not coughing. As for me, I'm not coughing. Yes, everybody knows that if you cough, you may be having TB. And so there's that stigma related to it. Okay. Any, if you walk into a facility and you're asked about cough, and you say yes, and the cough has been persistent for a time, you are rec it is recommended to you to have a test done, a test for TB. When you say no. persistent, not to cut yeah. you, but for how long? Okay, uh, okay, so let me not use persistent in this stage. Let okay. me use a chronic cough that has right. been running for about two weeks or more. It so it's a be. chronic cough, I two see. weeks or more. Okay. Yeah. In recent times, to improve our sensitivity, we are saying that even if you have a cough that is less than two weeks, but you have other significant uh, symptoms like a fever, weight loss, Sputum production, night sweats. What is sputum still, production? So you are producing <laughs> flames. Okay. Okay, flames are associated with your cough. Okay. Yes. Then that means that you may have it. You may have as TB, well. and so we will test you for TB. And the good news within the health system is that nobody charges anybody any money to test for TB. You can walk into you any can. medical facility and you, test for free. Yes, you can walk into any medical facility in Ghana. Across the country. Across the country. Unfortunately, most of the capacity exists in the public sector. Oh. So the public sector facilities tend to be more akin All to right. it. But the private sector is also responding to the challenge of supporting the national response against tuberculosis. Is it a death sentence? TB is not a death sentence because TB is curable. Okay. There's a lot of research going on to reduce the treatment duration of TB. We have come from a time when TB treatment used to be two years. Huh? Now, we are happy to say that TB treatment can last only six months. And even then, we are looking at working. There's a lot of scientific work going on to reduce the treatment duration to just two months. 
six, wait, hold on. Six months, so you are on medication for six for months? For six months, yes. Are you in the hospital also? No, it is what you call ambulatory care. So you actually be at home, you'll be given your medicines, and you take your medicines. The good thing about TB is that immediately you start taking effective treatment. Within two weeks, it is not, noted that your lung is literally sterilized. And so mm -hmm. the, the risk of easily infecting somebody becomes significantly reduced. I see. And so that is why we like to treat people for TB at home, in their community. Mm -hmm. So they sit at home, we give them the medicines, they take their medicines, we support them, and we supervise them to make sure they go through the six months of treatment. Of course, it is not easy it's to not take easy. medicine for yeah. six months. And so that is why there's a lot of research going on to reduce the treatment duration to as low as two, two months. That is the target for the world. How long does it take before I start seeing the signs? You said it's, what, long term? Yes. And so what's the longest? And by that time, would it be too late? In most situations, with the way the disease progresses, you will notice that before the person begins to cough, which tends to be the most significant symptom, they would have actually had active disease already going on in their lungs. So it takes a long time. Depending on your immune system, there are people who could have actually been exposed to TB bacteria and not exhibit disease for a very long time. Some people may go all their active life uh, and not really exhibit it. And then towards the end of life, when they are beyond 60 years, then they begin to exhibit it. It can stay in it. you for that long. It can stay in you for that long. Because we re the, the bacteria is a very smart bacteria. And so some people may get infected and actually not show any disease. Another group of people may get infected and then the body is able to manage the bacteria and so they don't end yeah. up with any disease at all. And then some others also will hold on to the bacteria till their immune system becomes compromised either by disease, like diseases like cancer, diabetes, or in old age, yeah, and then when... the disease becomes... So that means system. that from, from today, I mean, because of coronavirus, we don't treat cold as a normal flu anymore. Yes. I mean, if my nose is running and I'm coughing, <laughs> I should be concerned. You should Do I be necessarily concerned. have to go to the hospital the moment I see some of these signs? What if it's just a cold? Because it's in the, we're in the rainy season as yes. well, so that will also come with its own... Of course. Because of our drive, to find more TB cases. It is recommended that if, you're, if you have a cough that lasts more than 24 hours, huh? if you have a cough that lasts more than Why, 24 there's some hours, coughs that last associated with other symptoms like fever, okay, okay, weight okay. loss, okay. then we recommend you, you go, go to a hospital. Treatment. How is this related to coronavirus? Because like we all know, if you have any underlying ailment and you catch the virus, you are in trouble. Yes. And so let's just say that I probably have not detected that I have TB or I'm under treatment for TB and I come into contact with the virus and I test positive. What's going to happen to me? Okay, so we're not too sure about how TB actually increases one's risk for coronavirus. But the risk for coronavirus is actually related to our, uh, our habits, touching your face, yeah. shaking hands, yeah. all the things yeah. you're trying to put a stop to. Yes. But once you, get, uh, uh, once you have underlying TB, we believe that you have the same risk, even though there is some information to be coming out that presupposes that TB patients may be, may be at an increased risk of getting coronavirus. It is not confirmed. Okay. okay. It is not confirmed. Okay. But for now, we believe that everybody, every TB patient who is on treatment has the same risk as everybody else who is... Can I boost my immune system to prevent me from getting TB, just like well, the coronavirus? Well, yes, of course. I mean, if you, if you eat well, if you're not doing anything wrong, if, you're, immune, if you're, you're not getting any diseases that will reduce your immune system, yes, your risk of getting TB is, is minimized. No. Okay, yes. so just in case I, I come in contact with the virus, but I'm eating a lot of fruits and all of that, there's a likelihood that even if I inhale it, it well, will not... Well, there there, there's a lot of information going around about how boosting one's immune system yeah. seems to prevent against uh, to coronavirus. Be, uh, coronavirus. Yes. Is it the well, same I'm not. Uh, I'm not an authority. I wouldn't say I'm an authority in determining that fact. But yes, to some extent, yes, uh, because it's a typical flu virus. It's a typical flu virus. Yes, some of these uh, uh, facts may be true. I see. So yeah. Okay.
Well, I guess you have enough information on that. So this year being, uh, well, yesterday was when we marked World, World TV Day. day yes. What is the plan? Do we have a long-term plan for the yes. rest of the year? Are we visiting regions, hospitals? What's the plan? So the health system is capacitated well enough to respond to tuberculosis. And so we have testing sites all around the country, like I talked around about in the public sector and in the private sector. Mm -hmm. We are doing a lot of community activities to do education, to bring aware, create awareness to, uh, among the populace in Ghana, to want to walk into a facility to know their TV status. Mm -hmm. So we have a campaign that is running called the Know Your Lung, know Your Lung Status Campaign. Okay. And uh, this goes through communities, especially communities that we believe have a higher risk of getting TB, and people are called upon to come for screening. We use uh, x-ray vans, mm. so we go to community and do x-rays, uh, also not just uh, urban communities and urban slums, but also in the mining areas where there's a higher risk. Okay. The National TB Control Program is leading the response. Mm. And so we're happy to say that, yes, we have a lot of things planned in, within health facilities. If you walk in and you say that you think you're not well, perhaps you may be uh, having any respiratory symptoms, you would be encouraged to test for tuberculosis. Definitely. And once you're tested and you're diagnosed, there's free treatment available to you, okay. and you'll be supposed to also go through your treatment uh, duration. How long do I have to wait for the test results? It's a, it's a it same answer? day. Okay. It's a same day test. Okay. Or worst case scenario, the next morning when you come, if you come back, you would get. So we have the diagnostic equipment called the Gene Expert Machine, all right. which is uh, all around the country. You know, virtually uh, in 130. Uh, and they are all working. You are sure of that? Yes, I'm sure of that. Because 130 we, we do Gene know Expert how, Machines. Uh, a health system, unfortunately. Is yes, of course. Active. Even in facilities where they don't have the Gene Expert Machines, they have this microscopy, okay. which is available also for people, for people. to test to know their. I see. Status. Advice to people before I wrap up on this conversation, Doctor. Well, I would say that, yes, in these times when the, the coronavirus seems to be scaring all of us, the most important thing is, hey, take it easy. Keep calm. Let's not panic. Mm. Let's do what we have to do. There's a lot of good information going on around the country. There, there's information coming from the health system, from the, from the government systems. Don't believe everything that passes around on social media. Okay. And uh, I would encourage the media also to support us, mm. not to sensationalize some of the stories that are coming across. Okay. But encourage all of us. It's been a wonderful morning praying together. Yeah, it has yes. been. Are you fasting and praying as well? Yes, I'm fasting all and right. praying and all I'm right. encouraged. And so we are happy to all contribute to the national response Definitely. against coronavirus. You were teaching me something really quickly uh, about the use of, you know, <laughs> the, hand um, the hand sanitizer. So, so some of us just pour a little <laughs> because it's expensive. So we pour just a of little course. and rub it. But what do, you, what do you say is the best way to apply all right. the sanitizer? So my, my number one recommendation has always been washing your hands with soap and water, period. Running water. Sh running water. Okay. Washing your hands with soap and running water. Okay. Make sure... You wash your hands for 20 seconds under running water. Okay. And uh, as you do that, you can sing happy birthday to yourself <laughs> two times and you okay. do it. Is it just the first happy birthday to you? No, two or times. We ask how old are you now and all oh, that? Oh, you can, but just sing happy birthday <laughs> to me two times and make sure you okay. do the 20 second uh, procedure. And then in the absence where there is no water available and your hands are not visibly soiled, mm. okay? you have the opportunity to use the hand sanitizer. sanitizer. So you go like this. Oh, so you don't press. Yeah. I mean, try and this part is safer. Okay. So you, two squirts. Make sure okay. you have about uh, 2.5 mils or 2.5 mils okay. minimum in, your, in the pit of your, uh, your, your palm. palm. Okay. And then you rub it across and then at the back of your hand. The For back. sanitizer too? Yes, because you actually doing a washing a hand washing procedure okay you are doing a hand washing procedure and your hands should be visibly wet ah. with the hand sanitizer that is why you need adequate not just two drops okay <laughs> not well, just some two of drops. us have been you know doing yeah. it the wrong way so by doing it washing your hands i mean happy birthday to me doing that yeah, doing the same thing, with the the same thing. Too. yes you know oh, wait, you have to do this as well as much as often as possible because the effect you're just you are mimicking hand washing by the use of the sanitizer i see or else it is of no effect quick one though so washing hands and using sanitizer does it also prevent us from getting tb 
No. Oh, that's not. Okay, so that's not a procedure. <laughs> that's for not a procedure for TB. Wow. Anyway, I've been speaking to Dr. Nee Norte Hansen Norte, the country director for the Orem mm, Institute. Institute. Okay. And uh, he's been giving us some uh, information on World Tuberculosis Day, which was celebrated yesterday and it runs through the entire year. Make sure you get tested. It's free across the country. Just walk into any public medical facility and you can get tested and private as well. And you can get tested. Thank you so much for joining us. Keep your